Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. Out and talk about your risks in some specific cities, including you in Nashville, where we have Torcons of a five. That's on a scale that goes all the way up to 10. So five is a very significant number. And Nashville, while we do have some showers and thunderstorms off to your west, we'll see some spotty rain and storms, I think, over the next couple of hours. That's what our future radar looks like at three, four o'clock in the morning. Then you can see it continues into Sunday morning and begins to quiet down. Things will look a lot better on Sunday, but a lot colder as well. And what about you in Memphis? Memphis also has Torcons of a five, though. Notice as you head up towards the north, uh, you're doing a little bit better here. Memphis, we have rain and storms off to your west right now. We'll see a couple of rounds and notice some of these individual storms, potentially even the radar, future radar models are picking up on that possibility. There you see the line coming through in the evening hours and by tomorrow morning, again, beginning to quiet down. What about Birmingham, Alabama, Birmingham, uh, the area had some uh, severe weather last week and we've got Torcons of fives here once again. Uh, we tend to see severe weather this time of the year happen a little bit more frequently in parts of the south, especially at nighttime. And it's especially dangerous at night when people are sleeping. You want to make sure you have a way to get alerted. So some spotty showers and thunderstorms will be possible after three o'clock. And then you can see by 11, another wave of line of thunderstorms will be coming through, likely continuing through the overnight. And then we'll watch for the falling temperatures again as we head through the day on Sunday with quieter and clearer conditions. And what about a place like Jackson? Spotty showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. There is four o'clock, perhaps a break in the action. And then there's that main line. And that's when damaging winds will be most likely, but still couldn't rule out a couple of embedded tornadoes coming through there. As we head towards two, three o'clock in the morning for tomorrow, uh, we'll watch for drier conditions to work their way in. You'll notice a big drop in the temperature and you'll notice a big drop in the humidity as well. Now make sure you stay with us as well. Dr. Postel, you know, this is coming in in some places that have not had a lot of snow so far this season. Yeah, and uh, in some places that really good idea. If you've ever lived in a snowy city or a snowy climate, you know that that stuff just turns to solid ice like a rock and it's so difficult to remove once you get that kind of freeze. And I think that's going to be the case in Chicago and a lot of the Midwest here with Frida. Now, Kansas City, one of places where you're cold or Already. Snow coming down and will continue to come down through a good portion of the day. This is going to be a lighter, fluffier snow for you here in Kansas City with temperatures like this. So it's going to be easier to clean that you could almost take a broom uh, to sweep some of it off of your vehicle, for example, but not so much fun to play with when we're talking about single digits and teens and some gusty conditions as well. So can be dangerous. Lots of breaks if the kids want to go out and play in that at all. Uh, take a look at that. It's all going to be quite down overnight tonight. Snowfall totals not huge for Kansas City, but they're there two to four inches across the area. I do think a little bit north, uh, especially north of I-70 is where we're going to see the most snow. And just know, especially if you're traveling, say, from Kansas City over towards St. Louis, I-70 is going to be rough today, we think, because of icy conditions. This should be kind of that uh, overrunning area where we think there's cold air and then warm air aloft. So it comes down as liquid precipitation and then ice is on contact and temperatures in the upper 20s. That's going to accumulate and create slick conditions underneath then what turns over to some snowfall a little bit later on for tonight here in the central parts of Missouri. So uh, difficult travel conditions for so many here.